What's up, YouTube? Simply. Oh, no luck here. And today we're opening Konami's newest set. It is Dimension Force. But first, I want to ask you guys to check out the channel, subscribe for more insane, maybe even godly Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh videos. And please give this video a thumbs up. And speaking of thumbs up, you guys, we are doing a giveaway for an entire booster box today. Just tell me in the comments below, which archetype are you excited for out of this set? And yes, it could be Libras. Yes, it could be Therions. Just let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Why? I want to know why too, because I feel like the Theranon cards are pretty freaking sweet and they're slowly becoming some of the most valuable cards in the set. But we know, what, what do you guys think of these scare claws and other cards in the set as well? All right, you guys, let's check it out. This is Dimension Force. Also, check out simplylucky.com. You guys, we will have Dimension Force at competitively, competitively priced uh, booster boxes along with singles from the set. Let's check it out, guys. This is Dimension Force. The show goes on. Shout out to the Pendulums. Pendulums hasn't gotten some support in some time, guys. It's been a cool minute. Um, but this set overall, of course, getting some love for its new archetypes and some of the new, more modern archetypes like Libromancers. Um, zombies are in here. Maybe if you want to say vampires, but more zombie uh, support as well. Um, just a lot of cool cards overall, guys. I'm very excited for this video. Let's get started. This is Dimension Force First Edition Booster Pack. Here we go, guys. Last core set video we did was Battle of Chaos, and we did pull a Starlight. Let's see if we could do it again. All right. Reverse Jar. Shout out to the Jars. And Symphonic Warriors are back. We got a Sylvan Technically Plant Support link there. We got some more Symphonic Supreme Little Cs. All right, here we go. Reverse Jar again. Scare Claws, Devourings, Crow Tangu, Chow Sai, the Ghost Stopper. You got a cool guy there. Oh, did you guys see that as well? The zombies are actually kind of reprints of some of the different popular Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is a uh, Mazra Deville, is what I'm thinking of off the top of my head, but I know it's the uh, cards from AST, Ancient Sanctuary. Whoa. Backup team, Predator Plants are back, guys. Ice Jades, Immortal Dragon, another zombie dragon card. I think that looks like an old card from LOB. Very cool. Sunlit Sentinel, more Sentinel cards. Haunted Zombies, shout out to the zombies. And Light Law of the Medium. All right, here we go. Next pack, still no ultras, still no secrets. Hey, Weather Painters are back with Moonbow. Very interesting card there. Weather Painters actually been quite a popular deck uh, core for us from the newer sets. So very cool to see that. And we'll keep flowing, here we go. Next pack. Scare Claws, Devouring Vivid, Battle Guards. More Scare Claws, this time it's the Arrival Ancient Warriors. Two Ancient Warrior cards, and yes, they're always in the same pack together, because why not? Predator Plants, this is a Defoe Fusion card there. Next pack, Symphonic Warriors, there's the Therion. Stand up! And we got a Hero Champions in here along with the Therions. Very interesting. Colonel. All right, we keep flowing. Got a Mad Mauler. Tango again, and Therion King Regulus, guys. This is the big hit of the set, and probably the card I'm the most excited for, guys. This set really reminds me of uh, kind of like the Six Samurais along with some of the old Union cards. I really like the Therion Kings. I know it's uh, kind of becoming the main meta archetype in here, guys, but let's check this out. This is Therion King Regulus. Very excited for this card. And we actually pulled it from our box today, slowly becoming one of the best boxes possible if you have the Therion King inside. Very cool there. And if you guys can see his effects there, basically he gives anybody an effect that he's equipped to. It's that second effect there, and you can negate effects. So this guy is a quick effect effect negator. That's awesome, guys. Therion King Regulus, one of the best, if not the best, secret rare in the entire set, guys. We're killing it. Already got a really good box. Let's see if we can keep it up and pull another Starlight to match our last core set box. We got Libromancer, Mystic Girl there. Gotta watch out for those Libromancers. People still trying to make those popular and good. Therion Charge. So Therion's trying to be kind of their own deck, but we'll see how they kind of survive the format. Oh, a lot of people are talking about using them as like an engine in their deck. This is the uh, Scareclaw guys. <laughs> they have their own like deck there. That's pretty cool. Maybe we'll have a nice deck core to sell for you guys on eBay or something. Shout out though to SimpleLucky.com, you guys. Definitely pick up these single cards. Definitely pick up the booster boxes. Libromancer's there. And last but not least, on the right side, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! 
a little motor frenzy there. Machines, technically, I think the Therion cards kind of work as uh, machine support as well. All right, you guys, left side, can we get another awesome secret rare? Uh, I think there's another Therion secret. There's also um, the new adventure token secret. Oh, branded banishment. Um, I think you only get about six to eight of this per case, so pulling it in a box is pretty nice. This is the new $5 super rare. Um, a lot of people have been talking about, though, how supers being only, you know, six to eight per case. I mean, it makes sense if it's a good super that it's five to ten dollars. So that's pretty sweet, you guys. This is a super poly from the grave for Despias, I believe. Actually insane card there. So watch out for that one. It might go up even more because of how popular Despia cards are, but we'll see. We keep flowing here. Zombie Reborn. Nice shout out to the new zombie cards. Getting their own monster reborn, but zombie version. Banishing cards and doing all those shenanigans. Very cool supers. I really like the zombies. Big fan. Exo Sister Magnifica. This is the new Exo Sister card. Actually, very popular right now, guys. Everybody in the shop is talking about these cards. These cards are probably going to be pretty decent in this format, especially with the entire core um, from Grand Creators. A lot of value has increased on these cards as well. And she's a Starlight. Shout out to a potential Starlight. So, very cool. Ultra rare to pull today in this booster box, which is already one of the best booster boxes you can get. Let's see what else happens. We got Odd Eyes Wing. See most of the commons at this point. You guys will see cards for other archetypes here and there as well. Mad Holler, shout out to the Zombie Clowns. Its name becomes Plague Spreader while in the graveyard. That's pretty cool. And we keep flowing. Extra Pendulum, still some Pendulum support in here, as well as all, as all these other archetypes. I really thought the set would be more pendulum themed, but overall it kind of just really is a pretty good set. I think that, oh, Libromancer Fire. Not a bad secret rare to pull. Shout out to the Libros. Um, I believe he adds Libromancer cards from your deck to your hand. He's kind of like the Stratos for Libromancers. So very nice to see him. Got the King, got the Fire. Gonna keep flowing here, see what else we can grab. We got a Lord of the Eight Thunders. Shout out to that Japanese type drawing there. That's very cool. Worm Monster. Symphonic. The Symphonic cards are kind of hilarious. It's nice to see those. See what else we can get here. We got Therion Bowls. And this girl is actually a Starlight in the set, surprisingly. I wonder if we'll find a good use for her. More Therion cards in the back. This one is the Reaper. And four more guys. We'll see what we can get. Come on. Heart of the Cards guide us. Get it to us. Kaiba! Libromancer displaced. More Libro cards, guys. Very cool to see those. The Exosister, the King. Last three packs, guys. Here we go. Can we get that Starlight Rare? I believe. The weather forecast. Two more packs. Here we go. This is Dimension Force, guys. Navy Dragon Mech. Another little Mech Dragon there. Double Ancient Warriors again with Predaplants. All right, you guys. Last but not least... Can we get something awesome? Last pack of Destiny. Come on, Yu Yo! -Oh! And more Performer Pals. Awesome box, you guys. This is Dimension Force, you guys. We are very happy with this set. This is a very cool set. I know it's coming out right after Ghost from the Past. Shout out to Ghost as well, you guys. If you need more Ghost boxes, check out SimpleLucky.com. We will have those competitively priced boxes for you guys. But yeah, Dimension Force is actually not a bad set. It's not like a. Uh, what was that set? Genesis Impact when it came out. People were like, ooh, you know, this isn't this isn't like that, guys. This is a pretty sweet set. It's just coming out right after Ghost. And people were like, man, I've spent my Yu-Gi-Oh! money for the month. So uh, we'll see how that goes, you guys. But definitely, thank you guys so much for watching. Participate in the giveaway. Just need a thumbs up and post in the comments below the archetype that you're excited for. And simply, unlucky, signing out.